right, check this dude out real quick. Let's show you a little something. Uh, doing a, doing like a sparkle overlay kind of finish on the headstock. Um, this is just white with like a hot pink burst and I'm doing a, a point two point oh two five bubble gum paint flake um, instead of loading it into a gun all that kind of stuff we are going to try the sprinkle method see how it goes worst case scenario we just start over so I just got some uh, sanding sealer here This is basically, actually there's no basically about it. This is acting like the glue for the sparkle. Um, depending on how good your tape is, if you decide to do this, that you're taping off this stuff with, um, depending how good your tape is, don't go too heavy on it. Because if it bleeds, it's going to be a pain in the ass later for you. <clears throat> so let me try to let that let that flatten out for a second. So I got some flake loaded up in a uh, just a regular colander strainer, whatever you want to call them. Uh, Got it at Walmart for like three bucks. It's perfect. Like it'll hold it, but you have to actually like shake it for anything to come out. Kind of like a uh, like a salt shaker or whatever. Um, I was thinking about doing doing it out of a salt shaker or like a Parmesan cheese shaker or something like that, but uh, I didn't want it turning like gloppy. I didn't want it to take too long, blah, blah, blah. So uh, we got a little bit of buildup of the sanding sealer right there. But do I really want to fuck with it? I think I don't want to fuck with it. I'm going to leave it alone and see what happens. So here we go. See what's up. And we're laying this on pretty freaking thick because anything that isn't going to stick is just going to fall off. So we can lay this, as, I mean, like this is built up so insanely heavy right now. It's funny, but yeah, get it on there. Boom. That's good YouTube right there. So, boom, that is beautiful. So, uh, we are going to just let that hang out. We're going to let that uh, sealer do its job, tack up, and uh, actually, before we do that, one more really important thing. Um, so like, as you see it right now, how the flake is on here. Um, so like, if I get it in the light, like right now it almost looks like rhinestones, which is kind of cool because the flakes are sticking up all over the place. But what's going to kind of suck about that is when you go to clear coat over it, especially like lacquer, um, it's not very thick when it goes on and you're going to have to just build and build and build your finish. It's going to be a, kind of a pain in the ass. I mean, you can do it, but, um, what I do is get one of these cheap, uh, firm 
paint rollers, and they got to be the firm ones, not like the soft, like, I don't know, kind of look like Chewbacca fur or whatever. But these kind of firm sponge ones here. Um, here in a couple minutes, maybe less than that, I don't know. Um, we're basically going to gently, gently roll it flat. And it's going to flatten all of that flake out. So instead of looking like rhinestones, it's going to look more like a proper sparkle finish. Um, when you roll it out, it lays all of that flake flat. So it kind of bounces more light at a time. But, I mean, it's just a different look. You know, I mean, if you like this kind of look and you're covering it with like a polyurethane or whatever, I mean, that would probably end up looking more dramatic but you know i don't want to go too crazy with the bubble gum pink sparkle headstock you know got to keep it somewhat on the down low but yeah so yeah we're gonna see if we can catch it in the light about there see if it changes any on the camera Like, I am not putting any more pressure than this foam roller weighs. Like, I'm barely holding on <clears throat> enough that it's just not falling out of my hand. Just rolling it flat. Yeah, it's more of a true sparkle. And it's going to be way easier to paint. So shake off a little more flatten her out one more time yeah doing that uh, doing the that sunburst kind of look before you do the sparkle um, and you'll really tell when it's clear coated, but it's a really cool effect because I mean, it's definitely pink. It's definitely sparkle, but like, um, I'm not sure if you saw my last video I put up on Facebook, <clears throat> but, uh, I did this same flake over black and it looked absolutely nothing like this. It was a, uh. It's like a black raspberry plum sparkle. It had no pink to it whatsoever because the black really didn't let it shine. But when you do it over white, that pink just pops like crazy. So when you have like a pink burst or a black burst or shit, even like a purple burst or a yellow, whatever, any different color as a burst, it's going to give that different kind of contrast one way or another so it would be like uh you know like pink and pink is still pink but like you could do like a like a re-ranch has a has a uh color called coral it's kind of like what uh fiesta red changes into after it's been in the sun for like 30 40 years like that under the pink would be super cool. It's like a washed out reddish orange kind of really pastel terracotta color. It'd be super cool. But yeah, I'll uh I'll do another video on uh the clear coat and all that kind of stuff too. So Pretty, pretty groovy stuff. Oh, just for reference, the back of the neck. And this is going to be like a an age thing. So, back of the neck is still all groovy and worn in and played out and stuff. It's super cool. But yeah, we're going to let this dry. I'm going to quit screwing with it after I screw with it one more time. Watch me mess it up.
cool. Yeah, we are. We're gonna let that go. Call that a day. That is super hot. But uh, yeah, thanks for sticking around and stuff, listening to me talk. But that's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, MCL Guitars hit us up. Appreciate you.